Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So this morning, a friend showed me a YouTube make recently on the history of Wing Chun and within it discussed on the Chou family long Xiu Lim Tao sets and uh, today's three sets, the Xiu Lim Tao Cham Kyu Beauty sets. And uh, the Chou family have this uh, narrow stands, wide stands, all sort of stuff. So, since yesterday, I have shared on the uh, Wing Chun in 1850s, it's not what people think today. I want to share with you to put all this, the Chou family one set is today's three sets and uh, yes or no, those kind of things in rest forever. We in America today have the data to put all this thing in rest. See, most of this type of uh, discussions is just based on personal opinion. For instance, if I have uh, studied the Chou family along Xiu Lim Tao sets, and then you have seen my Queen Quit, then you say, well, you know, my opinion, blah, 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 blah. Well, those stuff are not legit. Yes, not legit. Because most of this thing is based on personal opinion. And the bottom line of all this type of discussion for past 100 years is for what? Is for promoting one lineage, putting down another lineage and all this mess. Year ago, there are people, actually a month ago, there are people who tell me the... Uh, the, the, the snake crane tree set is an improvement of the 1850s long sets. Serious, in forum. And that's why I write the article, say, hey, come on, look into the detail, the content. So today, I like to nail this once for all. Now, the position I take here, I careless on lineage or which grandmaster. I only focus on what really exists in the Chinese Kung Fu called Wing Chun in the history. What is the technical content? So instead of I study uh, this thing a while, that thing a while, before I even know what it is, and I start to go uh, playing expert. And also, because I do not represent any lineage, I only present what is the technical evidence. Let the evidence speak. There is no uh, intention of me to say, well, I'm the grandmaster, I belong to this lineage I represent. I don't give a damn on those. Okay? I just want to know what is the truth. So, let's look into what happened to Wing Chun. How we can back it up with history facts. It is known now. It is well known now. It is by evidence we know now. And actually, I have wrote article in Chinese, present everything in details. Wing Chun 1850 is not Wing Chun post-1870. Today's Wing Chun is based on Wing Chun post-1870. Okay, so there are two different types of Wing Chun. 
The Wing Chun 1850 is anti-Qing, belong to the anti-Qing. The Wing Chun of 1870, post-1870, is actually belong to the opera, which is have already converted to the Qing government. They are not anti-Qing. So, in the entire history for past 170 years, there are two Wing Chun documents exist in the world today. One is the 1850s Xiu Lim Tao writing. One is the snake crane writing of 1880s. This writing. Okay? So one is 1850s writing. One is after the 1880s era writing. This is the snake crane writing. We know the content of the of uh, the, 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 the Wing Chun at this two time, two era. So at the era post-1870, Wing Chun as today have already mixed with the Shaolin Wang Chun, the Shaolin Wang Chun from a temple called in Mandarin Fei Lai Si, a hall called Tie Zi Tang. Okay, so today's Wing Chun have already mixed with the Shaolin Wang Chun. We like it or not, that is what it is. So the snake crane Wing Chun from Tai Fa Ming Gam, this is from Tai Fa Ming Gam, 1870. You can see that after that, the Tai Fa Ming Gam, all this Feng Xiu Cheng, everybody, Leong Zhan, they actually uh, belong to that era. Okay, now, if you want to know more about the Wang Chun and Wing Chun, please watch my video. Just clean up Wing Chun and Wang Chun. They are different martial arts from different groups. Okay? Now, due to this, of this mix of the uh, post-1870s era Wing Chun, yes, including Liang Zhan, Wang Wa Bo, okay? There are many, many things which is really, really uh, how to say that uh, it is a, a gray area there where people argue. So you have this type of uh, of article. You have this type of article, this type of article, this type of article. So that is where people argue Wing Chun is Wang Chun. So why people argue that way? Well, if you're using other people's wooden dummy, the wooden dummy today's Wing Chun use is actually Wang Chun's wooden dummy. The three sets of uh, Wing Chun Today, you can see it recorded here in this uh, snake crane uh, document, post 1880s. This is the Qing opera, not the anti-Qing opera, okay? So there's a lot of argument there for past 130 years until today, okay? So of course, you have all this uh, Leong Zhan, Feng Xiu Cheng, and all those stories uh, all in here. So this is what passed 100 years up to today, all the arguments and the discussions and all kinds of stuff. 
all kind of mess. Okay. Now, so why is it so sure that 1850 is not 1870 and post 1870. Why? Well, it's because this. The salutations. We know at 1850 and at that era, because they are anti Qing, they are belong. Wing Chun is belong to one sect of the anti Qing. They have the anti Qing salutations. At that time, Hong Seng Chai Le Fat is another sect of anti Qing. Today, you go to Fat San, you check into the history, you can see that the Fine Jade Opera, which is the uh, which is where the 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 Wing Chun eighteen fifty recite, is a sect of the anti Qing group. Hong Seng Chai Le Fat also, you can track that down. And Wing Chun at the 1850s is a female art. Wing Chun is belongs to the uh, actors who play female role because at that time, you don't have a female play female role. It's ma uh, all male play female role. So this is the salutation of the female at that time and the salutations of Wing Chun is this, 1850. So this is the saying. This one foot, okay, meaning uh, 10,000 married. 10,000 married is the name of the female salutation in the Qing dynasty. And then this is return, uh, overturn the Qing, return to Ming. Uh, five leg, four C, ten finger is one heart, return me my country. That is what the salutations. So you have the gesture of the female and you have this, this poem. That is your identity on the sect of the anti-Qing. After 1870 until today, you don't see that. Zero. That is white. Okay, so that's one of the things which is proven that it is two types of Wing Chun. Okay, now, if you go to talk to, say, like Hong Seng Chai Le Fat in Fat San or other martial arts, they all have their salutations. If you don't have a salutation, they know it is a modern art. Okay. Just, just face it, that's the reality of Chinese history and Chinese culture. Now, so the Liang Zhan, Liang Yi Tai, all the stories is actually post 1870s story as what we know today. We don't have any evidence to prove that they are belong to the anti Qing. You can go to Fat San. You can still read the uh, the wheel, the wheel of uh, Liang Zhan. The expert there, the researcher there, still have the wheel. Look at it. What 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 is actually Liang Zhan practice? Is it Wing Chun? Read it by character. What is it? Okay. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to ruin your uh your uh your your, your finding go to Fatsan and look for it now so number one is salutations okay it if it's belong to that era that is the signature of the era salutation is the signature of era so a, a female art is that Taifa Mingam is not a female Art player. Okay? Taifa Mingan is not a, a, a female opera player. Wong Wapo. There is. He is not. 
you say Liang Yi Tai. Well, up to now, can you show me an evidence of Liang Yi Tai beside all those uh, stories? And then all the story linked to what? Linked to Shaolin Wang Chun. Linked to Ji Sim. But hey, 1850, there is no Ji Sim, there is no Mui. There is anti Qing. Real thing against the, 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 uh, the, the Qing. You can read in the history and you can check things uh, from the history at that time. And what? Using Hong Seng Chai Le Fat to double check things. Now, at the 1850, this is the writing of the Siu Lim Tao sets or the long Siu Lim Tao sets. Now, this set is not what people today think that, oh, the three sets today is actually derived from the sets or improvement of the sets. The sets, if you check into the Chinese history, I make a summary for you here. Where do sticking body short strike Wing Chun come from? It's come from Shaolin. All those documents. Where do Shaolin short strike art originate? Originate from Chi Chi Guang. All those. This is the Shaolin. This is the Chi Chi Guang. You, all these things match together. The uniqueness of sticking body short strike Wing Chun. This is Shaolin, and you have four hands. The leg arm manage the opponent's leg, body arm, tactical jamming, and then you have two hands. 1850s, Wing Chun have four hands. Wing Chun after 1870 have only two hands. They do not have this hand, they do not have this hand. And so why is at this writing, the Ermei Shi er Zhuang come into play? Well, today we know it is this. The purpose of Ermei Shi er Zhuang, Ermei Shi er Zhuang's snake slide and qi cultivation further refine the body, mind, energy, and forearm handling. That's all. But the fighting is Shaolin Short Strike is based on Qi Qi Guang. That's where the fighting is. Well, again, the anti Qing group, the Heaven and Earth Association. They are anti Qing. They are actually descended from the Qing military. That's how it is. Okay? Now, Fujian, the purpose of Fujian techniques inside this long sets. Expanding the hand techniques of Shaolin Sword Strike. In the Shaolin Sword Strike, in here, uh, in this Shaolin Sword Strike, you don't have something like Zhao Yang So. You don't have the white crane hand like this. But in the so uh, in the uh, Wing Chun, the long, uh, long, long set 1850, you have this. This is a Zhao Yang, as recorded here. As recorded here. Zhao Yang, this is white crane techniques. So we know clearly what is, where is what come from? Where is what the source of how all these things come on? And we know that within it, we have three types of training, six types of physiological states. That is where I wrote in the, uh, in the, uh, in the Wing Chun Inceptions and the new decoding Wing Chun the new decoding Wing Chun. Okay? Now, 
all of those have one thing critical. A critical thing which it never exists in 1850s, uh, 18, uh, post 1870s uh, Wing Chun. Not the riding in the uh, in the snake crane of post 1880, not in Shaolin Wang Chun, not in any of Leong Zhan's teaching or the stories or Tai Fa Ming Gam teaching. None today exists in China. China's Wing Chun, I mean. So what is it? It is very simple. It is just the beginning. At the beginning. At the beginning, they saying training. You must know when you train. Over here, it said contracting, uh, expanding and contracting. Ex expanding and contracting or extending and compressing. Okay? The sun sword is extremely important. Why? This is just a, uh, this is just, if you want to practice this Xiu Lin Tao, Xiu Lin Tao said 1850, you must know. Okay? Extending and contracting. Until we know this, we are clueless on what is Shaolin, uh, what is the, uh, the, the, the Wing Chun 1850. So how do I know all of this? It's based because I'm the fourth generations from uh from from uh, the fifth generation uh, the, the fourth generations or fifth generations from Cho family and all this thing. No. Stop that. We look into history. This thing, extending and contractions, is clearly defined in the Shaolin Sock Strike document. Those of you who know Chinese, read these two characters, Sun Suo. Or even if you don't know Chinese, you look at this character, Sun Suo. These two characters, Sun Suo. This is big thing. Okay? This Sun Suo got to do with your body, your body power or your body strength. Just a few days ago, I said that Chinese Kung Fu is about moving your ass, right? So over here, it said that you, all the martial arts have to have a body handling. So the handling of body is like handling, uh, is like the, the general in the army. If you don't know how to handle your body, then you get in trouble. Okay, you just, you, you simply cannot play. Now, extending and contracting is the fundamental of the handling of the body or handling of the S. If you don't know this, you will not be able to move your S. That's simple. Watch my other video if you don't know about this uh, moving S stuff, okay? Now, guess what? Is it that simple to move your body? No. That is where the breathing come in. The breathing and intra-abdominal pressure come in. I just make everything, I wrote everything for you in the, uh, in the uh, decoding Wing Chun. Again, this is Shaolin. Okay? And then, you need to keep your intra-abdominal pressure Reserve and your breathing reserve is presented again. That is presenting in the uh, in the uh, decoding Wing Chun book the details. So that is belong to the strengthening training, belong to the fighting part, or belong to when you step into the plum flower footwork within the close range. Meaning when we are weeding here, 
you need to be able to breathe that way, handle your intra-abdominal pressure in order to handle your body of the shrinking and the, the, the contract and the, uh, the, the uh, extending. Now, if you don't know that, over here it says shoot in. This is the Chinese character that says shoot in. If you don't know contract and extending, contract and extending, play with your intra-abdominal pressure, your core stability and your breathing, you will no way to shoot out. So, the first line, before even the content of the of the Siulim Tao, uh, Siulim Tao uh, uh, content there, you say that you must know. Eyes follow your hand. Eyes track your hand. Hand track your heart. Hand issue from heart. You must be all synchronized. Your contracting, your, your contract and your extending. Within soft, there's heart. Within heart, there's soft. If you don't understand this, then you go extreme. Now, so for past few days, I've been talking about the intra-abdominal pressure. It is here. It is beginning of Wing Chun, 1850. You look into today's uh, Wing Chun, Disregard any so-called lineage, the older lineage, more authentic lineage. You can even look at the Taifa Mingam lineage and the Liangzhan lineage. None of you have this. None. Okay? So let's not say that, oh yeah, you know, uh, today's Wing Chun is from, uh, from uh, uh, is uh, one set uh, it, it is from the uh, the 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 Cho family one set. The three set is uh, from Cho family one set, or saying that well Cho family set is uh, made up, or saying that the three set is the uh, the the improvement of the Cho family set. Well, you know, guess what? Do you know all this thing? I just I just I just I just share all this basic. Do you know what is this? If you don't know, what are you talking about? You want to talk Wing Chun history? Do you have all this data? No. So all this breathing, this intra-abdominal pressure, the endurance training, the strength like this, is that I made it up? No. There is other thing which can verify it. Who? Chui Lei Fai. This is the teaching of Choi Le Fat, Hong Seng Choi Le Fat, since 1850. They prepare to fight the Qing. Guess what they say here? This is the rule. Number six, you have to have that endurance, power striking strength. Number seven, you have to have deep, long breathing. What is that? You know from this, this is breathing, this is muscular endurance, this is intra-abdominal pressure, this is core stability, this is solidify the core for what? For, for strike out, for taking blow. So in the same time, we know that Wing Chun 1850 have all this. The same with uh, the Hong Seng Chai Le Fat. That's how you prepare for fighting. It's military. Again, 1850s Wing Chun, if you want to do the striking, you want to do the striking, this, this fighting, you have to watch out for the, the soldier. The soldier is not like today's, where you have an immobile uh, 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 elbow, it is not. It clearly said here, your elbow is the lid of your body. 
you have to lean in when you want to strike and you have to echo it with your knee. You don't want to exit and you don't want to uh, not, uh, uh, not, uh, not, not, get, not get into uh, 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 synchronized. Or else you will not be able to exert the force or you will not be able to have flexibility where you need. Your arm, you have to put it close like that. So that over here, it's riding here. So that your army do not open it up uh, uh, to, to strike you. So you have to get close. And over here, it say that when you lift up, you have to inhale. When you put down your hand, you have to exhale. When you open up, you have to exhale and turn your body. Everything is riding there. Who are we going to keep? It is a professional stuff. It is a military stuff. Have anybody put their, their, their time in those kind of training? Have anybody doing the researching and knowing exactly what they are talking about piece by piece? Obviously, today, no. People just talk, oh, this is lineage from this guy, that lineage from this guy. Oh, we don't have this tulip how We do this, this uh, 12 techniques, 13 techniques, 14 techniques. Well, great. You can continue on your story. But when you get into hit the 1850s, hit the Chinese history, you be better be, be careful what you're speaking. As what I said, even Liang Zhan is belong to 1870, the post-1870. If you, if you disagree with me, prove me wrong with, uh, with, uh, with evidence in Chinese history, in writing. And I just show you with you all this content, technical content at 1850, where you can parallel it with the Hong Sing Chai Le Fat. You need that long breathing and the endurance, meaning that you need to have your, your, uh, your, your core stability to do the strike. Now, asking the question, after 1870, until today, Shulian Tao, do you train for that? Obviously, it's not. You look around. So, it is about, oh, my Sifu said this. I have trained this. I have a long, uh, this guy have a big stance, wide stance. That guy have a, 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 a narrow stance. And uh, all those speculations on the surface or you dig deep, deep, deep inside to actually really know what is going on. Or you like to play expert before even you know what the heck is going on. So this is what I'd like to share with you. There's the reason I wrote this book. If you don't know that breathing, the intra-abdominal pressure stuff, like I, I just shared in a simple way, past three, four days, come on, don't kid Xi Xiaodong. That's why Xi Xiaodong, you look at his, uh, his, uh, his video, he's laughing at you. So as what I say, I do not belong to any lineage I do away all this lineage, all this family, all this thing. What I want to know is, is Chinese Kung Fu par with uh, Xu Xiaodong? Can you defend Wing Chun? You, you, don't, you don't go uh, have your uh, uh, YouTube show, this show, that show, that show. But when, when Xu Xiaodong is there, you shut up. Believe it or not, even if Xu Xiaodong is here, I'm going to have a conversation with him. Not about who is better fighter. But prove it with science. Prove it with science. Prove it with science. Okay? Do it in America way. Prove it with science. In anybody we don't trust. In science, that's how it is. Look at the Olympic. So as what I say, 
when you face this yao dong, everybody keep the mouth shut. But then when you go inside there, you talk, 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 this, put down, and all this. For decades, it's always the same. And then if you use Shaolin, Shaolin Wang Chun stuff, and you don't admit it, of course, people don't like it. It's like you're stealing somebody's stuff, and then you say, oh, this is mine. And for the 1850s Wing Chun, I just told a, a friend in uh, Asia two weeks ago, I said, your wooden army will never be able to train, develop this sticking body short strike. Why? Because your wooden army actually jamming, blocking a person for get close. Okay? It's a different art. Shaolin Wang Chun and Wing Chun 1850s is a different art. We know 18, uh, Wing Chun post 1870s is have mixed with uh, Shaolin Wang Chun. And so that's why all this speculation on Liang Zhan, on all those things, is a mess. So that is the reality today. I, I just share with you all these things. All this writing. There are tons of it. Why don't you clearly lay up? If you if you're expert on it, you you know it all in Wing Chun, your history. Why don't you clear it up? The answer is you can. The, the answer is you can. Because if you don't even know what is going on, how can you clear anything up? What the Shaolin Wang Chun from the the, the, the temple, Fei Lai Shi, Xie Zi Tang, they have document. Okay? You want to mess around with people who have document versus that you are you, your hearsay? My grandfather uh, my grandfather say this, or uh, my lineage, my family say this. That's why for hundreds of years you stuck there. Because you don't have anything to when, when the Shaolin Wang Chun say this is the writing. This is what in the teaching. This is a temple, Fei Lai Shi. What do you got? And then when say, oh, Liang Zhan changes, or, or, or this, that, that, all these stories. How do you know who, who is true, who is not true? But the evidence today I share with you, like today I share with you is, it has to go professional, details by details where you can find. Like I, I, I put it in the decoding Wing Chun. The breathing, the intra-abdominal pressure, the, all the training from the ancient Chinese document and match to today's spot science. Okay? So this is what I like to share with you. Why do I, I share this? As what I told in the beginning. I like the evidence to speak by itself. Because here it says, don't keep Wing Chun alive. Here it says, don't defend Wing Chun. Your five cents, my five cents, doesn't mean a thing under the history evidence. As what I say, when Xi Xiaodong say you are fake, everybody shut up. Why don't you tell him, say, hey, Xi Xiaodong is not fake. This is the history. This is how this thing happened. This is how it's trained. You look at the MMA, didn't they train this way too? So how come you say that Wing Chun is fake and uh, MMA is proper? Well, both train the same thing. But scientifically, you can prove that they are training the same thing. How is that Wing Chun fake? It is a different era. Now, I do not against uh, Wing Chun 1870, but enough is enough on those stories. Because if you're keeping speculate and making up and everything, you know you cannot handle the young Chinese today where they're going to pull all the evidence to prove you are wrong. Okay? 
it is get into there already in China. So this is the last defense. In America, all these things need to get straight so that you do not lose your last defense line. Once you lost your last defense line, you want to put thousands and or hundreds of thousands of people in depressions, knowing that for all these years, they are just sell snake oil and stories, alibi, where the young Chinese can prove it. Go watch the, 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 the YouTube produced by the young Chinese where tear apart everything. Okay? So this is how serious is it. So for me, my last words to say is, unless we know what it is, unless historically we know what it is, until, unless we have the capability, like the other day, if I want to talk 10 show, I better be able to show 10 show. If I want to talk Ibuki, I better be able to show Ibuki. Because everybody is watching you. Instead of, oh, I learned 10 show before. What? Show me your ebooky. <laughs>